Hello, good morning, writers. Happy Monday morning. Good morning, Ted. Good morning, Jade. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. So today's topic, you know, we've been talking about different goal setting. And I think this today's topic even goes under dream chasing. When you're doing those things, it's very difficult, but it normally comes with having to set up certain boundaries when it comes to friends, families, and even sometimes what can feel like losing something, right? Like you're losing some time with people. You might be losing an hour of your favorite TV show, you know, like when you're going after something new. So any advice for anybody that's trying to go after something new but doesn't even know how or where to start with those boundaries? Yeah, I feel like we're pivoting real quick from the last three weeks because we're <laughs> talking about these, these small things and seemingly quite practical things, which there's some psyche into the last you know three weeks that we've talked about things but this one to me is a little deeper mm -hmm. you know this is you go back a couple of weeks ago when we talked about self-reflecting and all those feelings coming in and all that right like mm -hmm. you're gonna have to figure out why you you're not being good at, at creating boundaries for yourself right like is it the guilt of like you said there's always a give and take in life so if you're going to choose to spend an hour at the gym i mean we keep talking about the health piece it's just the easiest thing to talk about if you're going to give up an hour at a gym that means maybe less time for something else maybe less time for someone else and that's where the guilt starts coming in why is it that we can't be good to ourselves right and so this one going back a couple of weeks ago this one does for me require deep reflection and some and some gut level honesty with yourself around why and a lot of your insecurities might come screaming all the rest of it um i know when i'm running hard and i'm not doing anything for myself it's because i'm trying to be accepted i'm trying to prove my worth even in my own home to my wife and two boys if i'm doing everything under the sun for them and nothing for myself i gotta slow down and a lot of times i'm like well which goes back to some really deep insecurities of mind of being accepted feeling loved, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I'm not trying to get fluffy on you here, Jade, but I do believe that this is what's required when we're talking about this idea of setting boundaries. Like, we got to understand why we're not good at setting boundaries. And I think it's, there's um, like such a negative connotation around doing things for yourself, right? Like, it's like selfish. Meanwhile, I mean, you, you have the perfect analogy that you've used before, Ted, of the plane is going down, you're always told to put your oxygen tank on you first before you can possibly help somebody right. else. And yet we we often feel this like crazy burnout from helping everybody else. And it's like, what are you doing for yourself, right? And I think that even um, investing in yourself when it comes to building your business or your writing, or whatever, that is doing something for yourself because if, if, if it is fueling you and adding to you, then like, I know somebody that talks about tokens, right? Are you adding tokens in? Are you putting tokens in? Because only then can you give tokens out, you know, to other people. Yeah. Yet there is such a, a stigma around putting yourself first. And, and I don't know what it is about yeah. today's society. We have it. We have it wrong. But I do. Again, I, I do believe in society. Right. Like so we have to give ourselves permission and we have to give each other permission. We preach it all the time. So we're hypocritical, like in society. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about the last three years, everything that's been put out on the web about self. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And yet, I think you're right. I think there's still a stigma like, oh, you're selfish because you're doing X, Y, Z or, or, or whatever. I also want to bring in something that's very real. I was given a talk about four or five weeks ago on this, around this, right? This idea of self. And mm -hmm. one of the things I talked about is that and I use the real example, and it's true. I, I get in modes where I'm doing everything for Angel, Jackson, and Maxwell, my family. And um, but there's a there's an and I convince myself that everything I do is for them. But the one thing that I'm not doing for them is taking care of myself, mm -hmm. right? So what I spoke to when I was giving this talk was something that happened in my house, which I, I wish I could say it only happened one time, but I was referencing a very specific time where Jackson did something knucklehead. Jackson's 10 years old. My man does things knuckleheadish. Yeah, he's frequently. Yeah, yeah. But on this specific day, he did something knucklehead that affected his brother. Right now, they're sixteen months apart, so they fight plenty and all whatever it's normal stuff in a house. Right, but I lost it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, I lost it on him. My voice was so loud and I, you, you hear it. I got a deep voice and I shook the house, you know? Um, and later that night, I mean, it makes me a little bit emotional now. Like it didn't match. It didn't, but why, why, why did that happen? It happened because I wasn't taking care of myself. I was stressed. I was running around. And in that, I'm being real honest with you now. And in my statement to my son and yelling at my son, I mentioned all the things that I do for him every day. Shameful, shameful that I did that. But it was because in that period of time leading up to that moment, I was not taking care of myself. Yeah, yeah. But I want people to understand that sometimes we're even hypocritical. Like we convince ourselves I'm doing everything for everybody else. But the truth is, if you're getting honest with it, I could I could open this up. And, and if people are being gut level, how many times have you been in, in, in an argument with a teammate at work or a, a loved one at home or whatever? And you're quoting everything that you do. And, you know, if they were smart, they just look at you. I never told you not to work out for an hour. <laughs> so I don't want to get preachy on people, but I am bringing that in because. We can't convince ourselves that not taking care of, if we really care about the people that we work with and that are our clients that we're trying to serve, we will become a better version of ourselves by taking care of ourselves. Otherwise, the back end is what I told you. That that outcome, I don't want for people. I, was I think not- another thing to be aware of when you're looking at this as well is the people that are around you. Because if you have people that are not rooting for you to take that time, who are not respecting those boundaries, who are not um, respecting your desire for a change in your career and all those things, you got the wrong people, right? Because it's, it's, I, I read something recently, it's not about the journey, it's not about the destination, it's about the company. And it's like, who's the company that you're keeping? Because if you don't have those that are supporting you that you can share this with and that are wanting the best for you, that's yeah. got that's another big piece of boundaries that I feel is like so- so beautifully said, Jada, you know, again, I only draw on my own experiences, but like my girl, my wife, she, she does that for me. She's, she will say like, if I'm running, I'm like, I can't go to the gym. I can't do this. I got so much stuff. She, go 30 yeah. minutes to just do something. So you're, what you're saying is ex- critically important. It's almost like you need people be willing enough to hold you accountable to it. Not just yeah. like be a cheerleader for you, but like, no, 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 no. You have to take care of yourself, whatever that means. Right. You have to do the things that are good for yourself. So today, I think it's about seeing where, how are you taking care of yourself? Where are you taking care of yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? And then layering who's around you, who's, you need people that are going to be in your corner, keeping you accountable, respectful of your boundaries and wanting you to, to almost like, I feel like it's like helping you achieve that goal, right? You're not in it alone. Um, it's, it's all in it together. So, and again, you have this community here full of people that will always be that for you, lean into it, like Ted has said many times, lean into the community, tell them what you need, tell them what you want so that they are able to be there and give that for you. Um, and I think we send them off with that today, Ted. Beans. Awesome. Have a great week. We'll see everyone next week. All right.